Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Samuel here with the Knights of Horror. We have the distinct pleasure and honor of interviewing John Murray, creative director at Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. John, how are we doing today? Doing good. All right, first off, we had a huge announcement today. We got uh, Scarecrow the Reaping coming, something we've been seeing uh, as we peep over the top of the Curious George lot. Um, what made you all decide on the Dust Bowl uh, to bring a house to life? Um, we've, you know, often over the years, we've looked at a lot of different houses that Orlando's looked at. We always, you know, we share everything. We send our stuff to them. They send their stuff to us. Um, latched on to Scarecrow because of the setting, because it was... You know, it took place um, presumably during the 1930s, during the Dust Bowl. So we really kind of like went all in on that idea for our version of it. Um, and to me, it, why I wanted to do it is because it seemed really relevant to the times we're living in. You know, we're living in an age of climate change. And um, even though the story takes place in the 1930s, you know, horror has always kind of done this down through the decades. It always kind of deals with the existential threat of its time. Um, I mentioned in the panel, like in the 50s, everything was about giant atomic mutated insects and monsters uh, because of the, you know, the nuclear uh, threat of nuclear war was so prevalent. Um, so today it seemed like uh, the Scarecrow would be a great thing to tap into because everybody's already afraid of it. <laughs> yeah, that seems, uh, seems like it's going to bring my nightmares to life, definitely. Uh, another surprise we got was uh, Slash uh, coming out here as a, your special guest. Um, you've done five editions of collaborating with Slash yeah. now. Um, what has been your favorite part of working with Slash? Um, it just, it's funny, you know, when you, you work with a lot of different people in your career, you, you know, I've worked with a ton of different, you know, filmmakers and directors and rock stars. I've gotten to work with people who are my childhood heroes. Um, it's, it's interesting when they stick around, you know, sometimes you work with people and you're really tight and you're close with them and then everybody moves on to their next project and you just kind of drift apart. But it just, it's never gone that way with him. He's like one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. He's one of the coolest people I've ever met in my life. And he loves our event so much that um, he, he always says yes every year. You know, <laughs> as, as soon as we started doing the Universal Monsters in 2018, when I asked him, hey, because um, I think when we worked previously in 2014, Guns N' Roses wasn't back together. Yeah. And then when I was like, oh, my God, are you going to have time for this? Because you're like, you know, touring. And he's like, I'll make time. Yeah. Um, and then every year, I always at the end of Horror Nights, I'm like, so do you want to do another one? And, he, <laughs> and he's always game. And he brings, you know, the passion for our event that he loves. He brings that to his work. And um, it's just a joy to work with him. He's like, you know, just an uh, awesome creative partner. Yeah, he seems like he's a great guy from uh, what we got to see of him today. Um, and he seems like he's always game. And he did say he will always make time. So that's a good thing. I, I got so, because I got a lot more plans. So. <laughs> uh, speaking of one uh, plans, uh, we have gotten the announcement for Halloween 1978 coming to the event. Um, and in addition, in October, we'll be getting Halloween Ends coming to the uh, silver screen here. Um, so with the final face-off between Lori and Michael, who do you think is going to take the victory? Probably Lori, but then Michael will be alive somehow. <laughs> you know, yeah. You, how can you? You can't kill Michael Myers, right? Because like in Halloween two, they blew him up, and like, and then you know, Halloween four, he's back. <laughs> so um, I would probably, I would probably go with Lori because it seems like that's her destiny. Uh, we agree. I think Lori might take the victory, but Michael will come back. Well, thank you so much, John. It was a pleasure to, to get to ask a couple quick questions, and we look forward to seeing Halloween Horror Nights come this September.